Okay guys, just pulled up to the range here. Just want to show off my bag a little bit and something else. Got a few patches from some good guys there. And uh, you know it's going to be a good day when you open up a pocket that you don't really use much and you find two full boxes of ammo. That's a sign of a good morning. Let's get started. All right, now we're back out here. Uh, I didn't really have a whole lot of time this morning here at the range, so I'm mainly gonna use what time I do have to practice a little bit, uh, my shooting and a new, I don't know if I'd mention this, I'm sure I have, Glock 43. Picked this one up a little while back. Uh, I've done a few upgrades to it. I've still got one more to do with the addition of the sights. So I'm gonna have a review on it coming up soon. Uh, so far, this has been my everyday carry gun. Now that it's getting warmer, I'm wearing, you know, don't have a jacket on every day. Although it's kind of chilly this morning, and I do have a jacket on. But it's going to get warmer later today. So I've got that coming up. Watch for that in the next few weeks. And more stuff on the 300 Blackout. Added, uh, still liking this CAC flash can here. It does a good job. And it, it makes a great thread protector for the suppressor I've got coming. And hopefully that won't be too much longer. But I'm really liking this gun. I've put about 400 rounds through it since I've bought it. Or, well, not bought it, finished it. Uh, this was built mostly from parts, except for the upper. So I'm loving this. And another thing I've got coming down the pike here is a... Uh, some more videos on the VZ. That seems to be a pretty popular topic there. Uh, they're not really being made anymore by Century. When I talked to the Century rep at the NRA show last year in Nashville, at that time, he said they had just completed all of the builds they had to do. They had exhausted all their parts kits and had sold uh, everything to Palmetto. And that's where I bought my VZ from. So. If you can find them, it's on Gunbroker or it's a, a VZ build made by another company such as Checkpoint. Uh, there's a couple others that made them, but uh, Sentry was the, the big supplier of them there for a while. And if you can find them, they're about double what they were going for a couple years ago when I bought mine. And generally they're only going to come with one magazine and none of the accessories. So. If you really want a VZ, now's the time to get one, because they're only going to get more expensive. And like Such always says, uh, when these surplus arms start coming in, they're cheap when they flood in, but when the supply dries up, that's it. If you want one, get it when it first comes in. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'm going to do a little shooting here, and uh, stay tuned. <laughs> 